Welcome to my permadeath series for No Man's Sky Beyond and in this video what I want to do is carry on with the dreams of the deep mission and we're at a point where we've got to go out and find an abandoned building and now what I'm going to do is use the Nautilon because what I want to do is some underwater exploration and talk about some of the interesting aspects of doing this mission. Now another way you can actually do this mission is to use the skimmer because you can actually, because once you've found the abandoned building, what you can do is use the skimmer to get very quickly across the surface of the water to the abandoned builder, dive down and get get to where you want to do, because what we're actually looking for is the crew. But the, the downside of using the skimmer is that to move to the next stage, you may still have to spawn the Nautilon to use the special scanner. Now the reason I'm currently sat in my ship is that this is a frenzied sentinel planet and I wanted to do this introduction without being attacked because I've, I've made a few preparations. What I've done is I've bought a big pile of oxygen, I've made some hypothermal fuel cells because we're going to do quite a lot of travelling underwater plus it, you will go through the oxygen fairly quickly once you start getting out of the ship. So I've got what's it, 200 and 500 there and I've got another 500 dash near so we should have plenty of oxygen. Now the other thing I also want to say about this mission, and this is quite important if you play survival and permadeath mode, that one of the elements of No Man's Sky is that No Man's Sky never really sets out to kill you. But what it does do is give you plenty of opportunities to kill yourself. And this mission is one of those big opportunities because what we're going to be doing is once we get to the abandoned buildings, we're going to run up against abysmal horrors. And, the, and abysmal horrors are one of the few things in the game that can kill you outright if you get caught in their hypnotic eye. Anyway, we're going to jump out of the ship. So what I would recommend is that if you're new to the game or a little bit worried, and especially if you're playing survival mode, drop a manual save. Because it, if you do get killed, it means that you don't lose the progress. Well, you can either let the game reset and you start from the damage situation or you use the manual save to recover the position. Now, the other thing you also need to be aware of that when you use the exocrafts in this game, there is no save when you get out. So, like, if I jump out now, there is no save. So, it's not the same as a ship. So, another element of doing long underwater sessions is the fact unless you bring something along that gives you the capability to save, if anything goes wrong and you've got to start, the game crashes, anything like that, you will end up going back a very long way and of course on the basis of saves if you play play in permadeath like I am at the moment this can be a little bit of a shaky mission actually some clams there so we're just gonna jump out it might pay to make a manual save <laughs> and of course me being a little bit crazy I haven't actually done that so I'm, if I sound a bit nervous it is because I am a little bit nervous and I'm just gonna grab the living pearls can see we're already going through the oxygen maybe I should have topped it up before I go I've actually got an oxygen capsule as well which could be useful I think I've got most of the fish down here because I've already done other parts of this mission that includes the step before this is where you are sent to a freighter let's go and just get some have some candle kelp as well like that there's some sulfide over there if I need it and actually let's, let's go and do the sulfide just to I mean it's in a little bit of an awkward place under that area there so I'll jump out I mean I'm not sure why I'm getting that indicator for the portable constructor we may not be able to get to the third one this is going to erupt yeah crystal sulfide I think the portable constructor is telling me that I've got a problem well not a problem as such but let's have a quick check yeah we're out of fuel so just pop that in there and knock that out. In fact, I think what I will do is just put this in the Nautilon and 
maybe we'll store some of this other stuff in the Nautilum. So let's get moving again. Now the Nautilon isn't exactly one of the fastest vehicles in the game. Well, I probably won't show you everything we do underwater because it's not going to be the most interesting of stuff. So what I will probably do is edit out a couple of things as we go along. Now to do the clams, what you've got to do is get reasonably close. Use the mining beam to arm them and then kind of swoop in and grab the pearl. Now, if you get too close, they will damage you. Yeah, I've got you. Now, you are safe from sentinels down here. Wow, okay, I've got a bit, a bit too close to that. As I say, you are safe from sentinels down here. But there are jellyfish. And if we do any mining, which I'll do in a little bit later, I'll show you what, what can trigger the jellyfish. Right, let's, let's just push off towards the abandoned building. It's going to take us a little while to get there. Now, I'm going to be completely honest that when it comes to using the Nautilon, there is a first-person option now that was introduced as part of the, I think it was the Beyond update. And you can you can get to it if you come here. I, I, I mean, I'll be a little bit honest. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, this would be the VR view. And you can go down here, but I find the while the while it looks pretty cool to do it, it can make the ship a little bit difficult to handle because of the restricted visibility. And I mean, I'll be honest, I I don't really get a feel for being underwater like this. I mean, it may be realistic, but and you've got the scanner in front of us there. But I'm, I much prefer this view. Now the reason we're up on the surface is the water is so shallow that the camera can't actually operate below the water. So th this is one of the elements of the game. You can see we're also running out of fuel. Now on th this level with the Nautilon, what you've effectively got to do is virtually run the fuel out to get the maximum fuel usage. So you can see because the water is so shallow, we're not we're having to just skite across the surface when there's no boosts at the moment I mean just to show you I've got no real there which we're actually out of fuel now so we'll just put that in there and I'll just check the exosuit for oxygen well we can put that in keep everything topped up and put that there and I think what we'll do is turn the kelp into a little bit more oxygen Now, over there is an example of why being underwater can be a little bit of a trap. Because this is actually an abyssal horror over there. See the eye? I'm not going to go near it because I'm not going to push me luck because we're going to have to kill a few of these. This is something you need to be aware of if you're swimming underwater. If you get hooked into that eye, you, it can almost kill you. As I said, the abysmal horrors are one of the few things in the game that can kill you outright. Most other things, you, you, you can die from them, but there's all, always an option to run away. The abysmal horrors isn't an option. Once you're caught in that eye, you're effectively trapped. And it's something you do need to bear in mind when you're a swimming underwater. You're okay inside of the Nautilon, but if you're free swimming, you can be. You can see there we've got a whole load of uh, deep water clams there. Uh, we're not going to. We're actually in quite deep water, actually. And and what I'm saying about the abysmal horrors is particularly relevant to a permadeath series, or even a survival series. If you haven't dropped a manual save, because well, I know I know if you die, you get regenerated, but you could lose a lot of progress or a lot of resources if you do die to an abysmal horror. So here we are, we are just coming up on the abandoned building. If I stop here, you can see the two abysmal horrors. See the eyes? Just above the top. And what we're going to do is jump out. First thing I need to do is actually pop my multi tool. Technology 
I mean, it is possible to sneak into this abandoned building without the abysmal horrors, but we're going to go after them. Now, the trick with abysmal horrors is you get close enough to trigger them, but but there it is. It's, no, it's starting to wake up. And what you've got to do is get... Once you get a hook on them, they're dead. But if that eye locks onto you, you are dead. That hypnotic eye. The trick is not to get too close to them. It's to identify them first. Make sure you got the beam out. And then get in enough to trigger them. He's leaning towards us. So you can see it's just starting to... That screaming noise is when you're starting to get into a little bit of trouble. What we're going to do is... Oh, shut up. Okay, seeing you've announced yourself, we're, we'll take your crystal sulfide as well. And some candle kelp over there as well. Um, okay, we're on supplementary oxygen now. Because I've used up all my oxygen. So, need to... Into here. So the oxygen doesn't last that long once you're out. Well, oh, great. Ah. Top tip there. Don't actually ah, replenish your oxygen. That one won't work. Okay, we're just going to... Uh, we'll take that. Not that I need it, but... I mean, you can harvest the kelp the other way as well. I mean, to be honest, I'm not too sure what the advantage is one way or another with the kelp. And what we're going to do is just come in here. There's here, logs ac log access signal echo distorted recovering data. Read log. Log 0062A, breach event plus 12 slots. It was my turn to dive today. Once again, nothing of interest, nothing but kelp and rocks. The water is yet to recede. Some of the crew have taken to swimming without their suits. It looks so inviting. Leave. Obviously, we didn't get anything from that. This. Now, that could be due to the fact that I've already got the tech for this. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let me just put... See, you were nearly through the first lot of oxygen. And I'm, so I'm not too sure whether this is going to work with portable tech base computer you drop a beacon what you can do then is go up to it drop a save and then go there and then pick it back up again and that's just a way of being able to drop a save when you're underwater so what we need to do now is get back into the Nautilon to do the next step of the mission. So we're just going to get this there. Return to the Nautilon, use the high-powered sonar to search for the crew. So what we're going to have to do is come here. And I think it's the building, because we're still, yep. Potential echo found. Inventory's full, so let's just move some of this stuff to the... Seeing we've got the Nautilon, we might as well use it to store some stuff. And I think that's it. The kelp can go in the do as well. Put that there. Kelp in there. Start turning that into oxygen. I think probably put the ferrite dust in the Nautilon as well. Don't really need it. And rusted metal, I think I just throw away. The next thing we need to do is find the, uh, what we call it, the location. So we're off looking for the next location. It's it's going to be an abandoned building. Again, of course, again, defended by abyssal horrors. It's like we've actually found a fresh freighter as well. That's cool. 
can always stop off on the if we can find it. There's the top there, so what we're gonna do is just dive down. There's no point in passing up an opportunity like this. Of course, unlike when they're on the surface, there's no no need for a free landing point. So just jump out. Okay. <laughs> now a lot of this is going to be buried underground, so I'm not sure. Right, there's, well, there's a buried container there. So uh, just gonna. We got here uh, chromic metal. We got plenty of chromic metal, and we got units for that one. It's just there's a cargo pod there. Quite interesting. It. I don't know if this is actually. It says destination reached. There it is. Um, Oh wow, yes, 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 yes. That makes the whole trip worthwhile. Salvage frigate data. That is... Yep, now I'm completely made up with that. Whoops, I don't know why I did that. I'll put you in there. What I want to do is actually tap, top, top up my oxygen. But I certainly don't want to die now. Right, we're going to search all these now. That looks like it's actually um is like there's one this way. Yeah, we can get some salvage frigate pods. Uh -huh. I might get converted to I mean I've never been a big fan of actually searching for underwater uh crash freighters, but I might have just been converted. I'll start waiting around here. Okay, there's the um, chromic metal. Oh, we got unstable gel. I'm not going to complain. And that's three. There's we're bound to get one there. Of course, the trouble is. We will go through the oxygen very quickly here. So we're going to have to harvest some kelp in order to be able to do this. Let's see. Get underneath there. On game. Actually, see my own shadow there. We only get We've got some starship fuel as well. That's useful, not as useful as the uh, frigate module, but I'll take it. We'll do one more and then we'll move on because I don't want this video to be too long and um, it's going to be quite difficult to judge the final length of all this and traveling underwater. But I will edit out the kind of the bits where I'm just traveling underwater. And I'll just grab that. And right, we got a couple of... That's pretty good. Where's the... That was by really worthwhile, getting that uh, frigate module. And we got some starship fuel. Um, Let's just pop up my oxygen again. You're okay. Back to here. Uh, have we got any help or anything? No, so we need to. If we can harvest some kelp on the way through. I'm pretty sure I've got those fish. So off we go again. Wait, I must admit, the. Uh, personal refiner 
it is probably one of the biggest game changing innovations for a very long time. I know it sounds very innocuous, but to, to me, it's changed completely the way I play the game. And I think it's, it's probably one of the best innovations. Uh, Hello Games have come up with for some time. I suppose the only minor gripe I would have with it is I, I wish it was upgradable in the sense that you, you could add extra slots to it. Though you make it maybe a medium refiner or something like that, but maybe in the future we need to get over this cliff here. Right, I've just found another little patch of kelp, and you can see the ship is sinking because I've just run out of fuel. So this might be a good chance to just jump out and collect some more candle kelp. Um, we're not too far away now from the the base, so just have that. Is that about it? There's some more. There's some chrysophosphate in there as well. I'll take that. And I'm just going to jump into the. You can see we're back to another abandoned building with the obligatory. Uh, horrors, so I'm just gonna jump out of the ship. Uh, mining beam. So I'm just gonna have to see if we can get close enough. Oh, come on. Right, he's he starting. What you're gonna do is just got him. Ah, gotcha. Okay, supplementary oxygen. Wow. Didn't realise I'd gone through my oxygen so quickly. That would have been embarrassing if I'd uh, had to pick up the oxygen. Well, um, in the middle of trying to attack in a bit more horror. Yeah, let's just. Right, we've got a lock. He's starting to look at me. Oh, was... once they start to scream, you've got to things fairly quickly okay might as well loot the area while we're at it gotcha <laughs> and I got me nose chopped off and I'm just going to grab that I think that, that's just pure ferrite I'm just gonna whip into here again We've got some more nice loot here. Navigation data, yeah, I've always wanted navigation data. Nothing found. Okay. Uh, got some sodium. And we'll just talk to the forgotten terminal. Um, yeah, just, just drop you then. Forgotten terminal, log access, signal echo distorted, recovering data, read log. Log something, breach event, plus 21 souls. The secondary dive team came back earlier today. They found a cave full of strange crystals, but the lights on the sub cut out and were forced them home. They seem upset, disturbed that we have to go back while we still have an idea of where it is before the shifting ties rob us. We will never build anything without advanced materials. Log something. We fixed the lights on the Nautilus and I'm heading out. Log continues. Log breach event plus 23 souls. We found the cave. I know we would, but what a find. Great towering crystals of brilliant red, rich metal deposits, concentrated deuterium, all we could ever need. That we might just make it after all. Now, if we could only get to the dry night's sleep, I believe. Okay. <laughs> So we've got to return to the Nautilus again, if I can find it. I don't know how long this is actually going to go. We've actually found a cave here. I don't know if there's going to be anything actually inside it. We've got some more. Okay, let's just jump back into the Nautilus. 
I mean, I don't know how long this mission is going to go on for. I mean, you can play it for almost as long as you want, I presume. Um, just gonna, I'm just going to scan for it. There's potential echo discovered. I mean, there's a chance that it may take us back to where we got to go. I've got a feeling what it's actually done is it's sent me back to the sunken uh, freighter. So, yeah. Never mind, it's not a problem. Looks like we're not that too far away from land actually, which is quite useful. Is one of the problems you do get when you do this mission or spend a lot of time underwater is, is actually finding your way back to land. Right, here we are. We're coming up on another abandoned building, complete with abysmal horrors. And you know, just make sure the oxygen's top up. So we're just gonna pop our oxygen up. So we're gonna have to take on some abysmal horrors again. Uh, let's grab that. And there's some clams here. We might as well grab the pearls. Grab a bit of cash. Ah. Okay. And we got some sulfide as well. Uh, grab that. That. And that. There's the abyssal horror. Get in. Okay. Right, it's going oh, start to get a bit of a lock on me. But uh, we got him first. Aha! Another hypnotic eye. And we could go so straight in here and pick up whatever's inside, but let's see if we can find its friend. There you are. So you're next to the other entrance, so. Resources around here. Let's top up the oxygen again. We're going through uh, a lot of oxygen. Let's just have a quick check. Yeah, we're we still got plenty of spare though. Um, I think the this is the one we've just we've been to before. I think. Okay. Um, just gonna desecrated terminal. Just gonna uh, discard and log accessed signal echo distorted. Recovering data. Read log. Log zero three two eight a breach event plus ninety eight souls. I had the dream again. The endless purple waves, mile after mile after mile, a relief at first from the dull crimson ache. But then I can't escape the feeling there's something else there. I look around and there's nothing. I blink and I see them, faint at first, just lines, but it's unmistakable. Repeated geometric shapes traced in the sky, row after row of triangles slowly scrolling past. I can't explain it, but it's the most terrible thing I've ever seen. It's almost a relief to wake up and see the rain again. Log 1998B, breach event plus 399 souls. They've gone back to where that wretched cave, every one of them. No, no one is listening to me, but we can still build the hyperdrive. I know it, but after the flushing the salt out the launch thrusters, it will be easy. Log 2001P, breach event plus 399 souls. We've all had the same dream, the same rambling, the teeth of the sky, those crystals, it's nonsense. There's nothing else down there. We've taken it all. But what can I do? Maybe I missed something. Maybe they're right. One last look won't hurt. Find the remains of the crew. <laughs> uh, 
let's pick up the candle kelp on the way through. And what we got here? Pure ferrite. I'm not interested in pure ferrite. Um, must have killed that clam because it's. Yeah, that's going to snap shut. I've shopped way too early. Grab you. Let's get up to the Nautilus. We're actually consuming oxygen now. And we're going to have to scan again. I suppose we'll have to scan for another sunken building. Looks like we're out of fuel as well. Technology uh. oh, we're okay. Okay, so here we are. We're back at this same abandoned building. It's regenerated the abysmal horrors again. So I'm just going to. Ship is actually sinking. Destination reach. Yes, yeah, thank you. Not sure why the ship is sinking, but never mind. Gonna pick up. Right, we've actually got a jellyfish attack now. <laughs> uh, I suppose it had to happen sooner or later. Um, and I'm actually backing myself into a cave here, which is not good news, but we should be okay. Wow. And let's just pick up the. Uh, do the exosuit technology. Put the oxygen back in again. And let's get another one of these. The, the, the jellyfish attacks are pretty random. Get a little bit of height. Let's get in. Gotcha. Hypnotic eye. I can see the. There he is, there's his buddy. Just get in. He's bending over a little bit. Gotcha. And hopefully, this will be the last part of the mission. I mean, to be honest, if it isn't, I probably won't uh, carry on because. Time is pushing on. Uh, we'll just grab that. And, I mean, the game is being quite nice to us in the fact that it's regenerating this over and over again. So, just gonna grab that. And where's the terminal? There it is. Just check the oxygen before we do it. Okay, so this mission finished. Okay. Use the scanner to search for crew. Don't understand this. Explore the Northland for the for a new scan distance scouted. Okay, so this is different. I don't remember ever having to do this before. So we've got to get into the Nautilon. Um, okay. We're still on. Okay, distance travelled 65 metres. So we've just got to wander around a bit now just to find the we we'll jump out actually if we generous recharging well we can get some sulfate distance scouted 
on a new scan location. Okay. Now, uh, let's hook off a couple of these. Where's the... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's just go traveling about. Okay, I'm going to jump out again. Signal lock established. Okay. Where is... Is this going to take us somewhere else or I'm just curious now I've, I've got to finish this up before we I don't know how far away that's going to be I'll go back underwater I may need additional supplies for this the distance indicator when you're underwater it can be a little bit erratic. There's some kelp there, so let's jump out. The candle kelp up. There's a uh, wait. Uh, grab the candle kelp back in the Nautilon. So we're just going to set out and actually, while we're here, there's some bays in here. And we've got the hostile jellyfish again. Because if I had any uh, creature missions, um, that would all count towards the Killing, killing creatures. So I'm just going to go off and. Right, what we've actually done is we come up against an island here, so I'm going to have to kind of navigate around this island here. On the positive side, it means we're going to be very close to land, so that if this is the final part of the mission, we should be able to get back to land quite quickly. You can see that the sentinel indicators are showing up to show how close we are to land. So we're just going to keep going here. I don't think we've got much further to go. Okay, we're just about to run out of fuel. I think for about the fourth time, and just to give you a bit of an update, is I've been manufacturing fuel as I've gone along. I've been gathering resources and manufacturing more fuel. Run out of fuel again, so I'm just gonna. So off we go again. Oops, ah. just destroyed an unidentified mineral. Right, we are just approaching the next abandoned building. Uh, it's taken me about six, seven minutes of game time to get here, and I've just gone through the bottom, so I'm just gonna jump out. I'm gonna pick up some of the candle kelp. We're at it. Um, of course, we're gonna go after the abysmal horrors. I don't think this is actually an abandoned building, so. Uh, gotcha. It could be an abandoned building, I'm not too sure. Um, we're gonna get his buddy, there's always two of them around. Or normally there's always two of them. Or then there's normally one by each entrance. Maybe this has only got the one entrance because it's such... Oh no, there you are. And he was trying to get a lock on me. Oh, oh it's an abandoned building. Uh, we've got navigation data, not that I really need it. Right, so we're just gonna 
something forsaken terminal log access signal echo distorted recovering data read log trapped sub reactor leaking it grabs me they are dead now their eyes are all shut i think my leg is broken my hand hurts if i can just find an air tank i can still get back home the log continues recording continues but it's just hours of scratchy silence the static of currents the haunting sensation of being watched i wonder who this crew really were it seems that i will never find out you've inherited the helmet of the lost diver transform appearance in there so we actually get a unique item for doing this mission now that's cool i like that and that's fantastic and i think that actually completes the mission now at long last so that's it that is the the mission complete we've done a lot of uh, traveling underwater and what i'm going to need to do now is get back to the uh, my ship or back to the dry land it looks like there's dry land in that direction there's the nautilus I'm just going to get close to the shore. I'm going to jump out and I'm going to jetpack up the surface. And of course, we're in the middle of a storm with hostile sentinels. So we're just going to pull the ship in straight away. Um, we got uh, a creature there that needs scanning. And. So we're just going to go up into space and find the space station. Alright, the space station is over there. Because what I want to do is take a quick look at this helmet to wind the video up. I'm going to jump out and... We'll go over to here and okay let's just get up on the appearance modifier I think we've got to change the race haven't we to anomaly and then we go to head and then we can look at the helmet types wow And this is the one that we've just got that the armor doesn't really fit. Okay. That looks a bit better. So we've now put on the helmet. Let's have a quick look at third person view. So this is the helmet that we've just got by doing that mission. It's a look it's modelled on a, a very old diving suit. Looks pretty cool. Got a bit of a paunch there though, isn't I? <laughs> well, maybe I need to work on my look a little bit. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.